Hello guys, I'm back really quick to discuss Maurice Scott. Maurice is the scum of the earth. He disgusts me. He disgusts me as much as Martel Holt does. Truly. After hearing this interview with Carlos King, I'm just like, eh. Like, eh. Like how you get something nasty and slimy on your fingers and you try to just flick it off. That's Maurice for me right now. And probably from here on out. It's like this. I am a woman, have a boyfriend, have a husband, whatever. I know for myself, if I'm not feeling well, it's like, okay, as women, sometimes we do have relations with our husbands, our boyfriends or whatever. When we you know, maybe have a little headache or maybe a little fatigue. Okay, that's fine. But, you know, if I'm feeling real sick for whatever reasons, be it I have a cold, my head is hurting like really bad, um, you know, just feeling bad, whatever. I don't have relations because I'm not feeling up to it. You know what I mean? Point blank in the period. And, you know, you might have thought you were getting it, but you're not. Sorry. Now I don't feel good. Whatever. It's over. You know, uh, another day, another time. So can you and then too upset if I'm upset, I can't like seriously upset. Like, for example, if I just got into a major car accident and didn't have auto insurance, I'm, I'm not going to feel like having relations later on that day. I got something heavy on my mind. You know what I mean? So can you imagine not knowing your fate from the C word? Like, just think about that. Just let that marinate for a minute. Like still trying to have relations, not one, but twice a day, or if not twice a day, just every day when you guys go lay down for bed, like having to get into that mode to have relations with your partner, not knowing if you're going to live or die. Really, Maurice? Really? You are disgusting. Like you are the worst. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to find every iota in me to, I don't know. He would have to go get counseling. I don't know. Maybe I would divorce. I don't know. Because when you sit back and think of it, it's the most selfish, self-centered thing that you could want or request while she's sitting up there fighting for her life. You didn't know her fate. She didn't know her fate. Only God knew. You didn't know if she was going to make it through. This woman not knowing if she was going to make it through and she still got to please you sexually. Really? Let me let you guys hear this uh, clip for those of you who could bear to listen to it all the way through. I know I could not. I just happened to catch this and it flabbergasted me. But listen to this. Hold on. Wow, wait a minute. Okay, listen. Kimmy's diagnosis. It's low, sorry. What she's going through, because all you want to do is make sure you get what you need. Mm -hmm. Are you that much of a sexual person to where... Despite what she's going through right now, you still feel like there's a happy medium in terms of her pleasuring you. This is what I'll say, because this is very difficult, right? There's a difference between wants and needs, all right? And I'm a person who actually needs sex, not a person who wants sex. Now, at times I want it, but I actually need it. So... Life throws us curveballs like what we're going through right now. It's not a curveball. What Kimmy She's is fighting for her life. Doing is admirable as a spouse. To roll over and suffer through it. Ugh. Um I was hoping it wouldn't be a suffering, you know, a sufferable moment, but she rolls over and suffers through it, fakes it all for me. Because at that moment it's something that she completely didn't desire. Right? And it, I kind of look at it as if, and this is, you know, all jokes aside, I look at it as her standing by me while I'm standing by her. So. 
Now, if that's not disgusting, I don't know what it he did you hear what did you hear him? He was like all about him. Him, 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 him. It's like, dude, she had cancer. She did ring the bell. She's fine now. But during that time early on, she didn't know if she was gonna live or die. Real talk. She didn't. I mean, when she finally dispo um, you know, expressed it on the show, she couldn't even get through talking about it without crying. So to have to sleep with you at night and, and actually perform, be it she's faking it or not, is a task, is a challenge. And I don't understand how Kimmy could do that. I just don't. I'm not judging her, but that is the worst. That is the worst. You guys drop down in the comments and tell me what you guys think. Are you guys doing this for your mates, for your husbands, for your boyfriends? With a ailment that, I mean, <laughs> literally, you don't know what your fate is with the C word. You just don't. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do talk back. Bye.